we're making drunken noodles, also known as Pat Ki Mao. But why are they called drunken noodles? Woo, what's wrong with you? You look like you've been to a good party, girl. The origin of drunken noodles can be traced back to the streets of Thailand where late night vendors would sail to revelers looking for a quick and spicy meal to soak up that alcohol. Drunk people often ate this dish because they thought that the spicy flavors would make them feel better. You can find different variations in different regions in Thailand. This is my spin. First, start with two pounds of chicken thighs or breast cut into bite-sized pieces. For veggies, we'll start with one large red bell pepper cut into strips, then in half. You'll also need two zucchinis. You want to cut lengthwise, then slice. You'll need to chop or mince four garlic cloves. You'll need three leaves of Thai basil. You can opt for regular basil if you can't find it. Arrange leaves from largest to smallest, then roll them up and start slicing into thin ribbons. You never want to chop basil, otherwise you'll bruise it. Now cut a couple of sprigs of green onions. For my sauce, combine two teaspoons of brown sugar, two teaspoons of our minced garlic, two teaspoons of fish sauce, one teaspoon of minced ginger, one and a half teaspoons of Thai roasted red chili paste, or for a kick, you can substitute it with sriracha sauce, two tablespoons of oyster sauce, one fourth cup of low sodium soy sauce. To add some dark soy sauce, which is really important. If you don't have an Asian market in your area, you can use tamari, traditionally brewed soy sauce from your supermarket. Try not to use this other label here. It's also tamari, but it's a little lighter. All right, so you're just gonna use two tablespoons of the dark soy sauce, two teaspoons of toasted sesame oil. I also like to add half a cup of chicken broth and two tablespoons of cornstarch to thicken it up. I like using all these ingredients for my sauce, but you can also use less if you like. I would stick to at least fish sauce, oyster sauce, light and dark soy sauce, sesame oil, and maybe a little sriracha. With a whisk, you just wanna stir. Sometimes the sugar sticks to the bottom, so you wanna make sure that you give it a mix, and you also wanna dissolve all of the cornstarch. Moving on, in a large pan or wok, heat up two tablespoons of olive oil. Once shimmering, add your chicken, Season with salt and pepper. Just be careful not to add too much salt because we do have soy sauce in our sauce. Let them sizzle away for a few minutes, then flip over. You wanna cook them until no longer pink. This usually takes about seven to 10 minutes. Once done, transfer them to a plate temporarily. On this side, I started boiling some water. In the meantime, wipe your pan clean and add two tablespoons of olive oil. To the hot oil, add your zucchini. Since these take a little longer, I'm gonna stir fry them for a minute. After a minute, add your red bell peppers. And I forgot to mention that I usually add onions. So if you have onions, make sure you slice a few up just like your bell peppers and add them in there. I also like to add carrots. I have a 10 ounce bag of matchstick carrots. We're gonna add half of this bag, making it five ounces. Now, if you have other veggies you like, like broccoli, you can add that as well. To our veggies, we're gonna season with some pepper. I'm gonna add just a tiny bit of salt, not much. Again, we have soy sauce coming later. Now we're gonna add the other half of our minced garlic that we chopped up. This should be about two teaspoons. We wanna stir fry these for a couple minutes until they're nice and tender. Once veggies are tender and fragrant, we can add back our chicken, give it a good mix, turn your stove off and set these aside. Let's talk noodles. You'll need Thai rice noodles. I got these from an Asian market. I like them because they're a little bit wider than the ones I find at my grocery store. Now you can still get the other ones. Let me show you what they look like. I like getting these. These are just as good, they're just not as wide. To your water, add a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of olive oil to prevent your noodles from sticking. Then you wanna cook your noodles according to your package directions. Once done, drain your noodles, rinse them in cold water, drain them again, and then add them to your pan. With my pan on low heat, I'll add my sauce. Now, if you notice, the sauce is dark. This is created by the dark soy sauce we used. Let's add our Thai basil. Let's give it a good mix, and I find that using tongs usually works a little better. This sauce was the perfect amount for me, but if you ever feel like you need a little more liquid, just add a little more chicken broth and you should be fine. 
Add some green onions and reserve some for garnishing later. Now, how delicious does this look already? Let's go play. I'm gonna top it off with a few more green onions. If you'd like, you can also use some sesame seeds as a topping. You don't need to be drunk to eat this deliciousness. Now we gotta give these a try. Get a mouthful. Mmm, so good. I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please be sure to give it a like, share with your friends, and comment below. If you haven't already subscribed, please be sure to do so below or hit my little picture on the side. Also, don't forget to hit the little bell to get notified of all of my new videos, and please be sure to check out these links on the side. Share with your friends. Thanks for watching and your support.